Okay, so today I'm going to show you a bunch of different felt hats and maybe give you a little insight on what hat to buy if you're about to buy one or a good one for what you're using a hat for. So here's a bunch of different colors, so that'd be one place to start. Um, maybe even before you go to your budget, decide what you think looks best. I would recommend going to a store and trying out a bunch of hats. Um, with color, you need to um, know that this hat here certainly will look cool over time, but it will show absolutely everything as far as dirt, grease, grime, whatever. If that's the look you're going for, I don't want to you know, persuade you out of that. A lot of times, working man is going to stay in this gray and black region. That's not necessarily um, the golden rule, but it, it does hide a lot more. But you can see on these, even though they're dark, they still show their age. So that would be something to decide first. The next would be your budget. And so with felts, the sky's the limit only because they are tough. They're meant to not only shade, but they're meant to shuck water as well. So on this table alone, if you do the math, there's well over $1,000, well, closer to 1500 in just felt here. Um, if you're just starting out, I would recommend don't go super cheap, only because you're gonna have to buy another hat again. However, if you're not gonna wear it often, maybe go cheaper. So I'll show you a little bit on that front just so you can kind of see. So this hat here, this is a Resistol wool, bison wool I think is what they call it. That hat is pretty old. It's held up, but it's pretty cheap. I think that was just a little bit over a hundred bucks. Um, a great hat to have. They have that in a few other colors. Pretty tough, holds a shade good. Um, so that's, that's that one. The rest of these are American hats and I like them all. So it's not like American versus resist all. It's just kind of the ones that I've, I've had. This would be where I would guide most people to. This is a 7X. And if you're new to felts, the X value basically tells you how much beaver hair is put into the blend of an entire hat. So there is no exact X value equals a certain percentage. It's just kind of hat dependent. So you'll find like, between maybe one maker to the other, their X values are different. And so, I mean, don't get hung up on that. But as a new hat buyer, I would try to stay in that 7X to 10X region. Depending on the hat build, that's gonna get you in that 200, 250 range. It's an investment, so just be prepared for that. Um, and then, you know, as we go around here, you can see some color changes and different things like that. So quality, what it looks like. Now we'll kind of move, I guess, onto a little bit of that. So most of these are four and a quarter, that industry standard. So if you're a medium build guy, not too tall, not super wide, that's going to be a great place to stay if you want to you know, be different. Um, there's a couple other options. So this is a four and a half inch brim. If you're a taller guy, bigger shoulders, this might look a little bit better. A smaller brim tat, even these four and a quarters might look like a top hat on your head. If that's the look you're going for, great. If not, maybe you know go towards this bigger brim. It might look a little bit more um, proportionate to your body. If you're somewhere where there's a lot of wind or you kind of like the buckaroo look, this right here, this is a three and a half inch brim. I have some that go down to like two and three quarters or something, you know, a smaller brim. That's kind of a style choice you have to make if you're kind of a gentleman rancher dude and don't necessarily want to have, you know, in your mind a sombrero on your head, you certainly can just go a smaller, a smaller brim. These are not, they're actually kind of becoming a little bit more common to find. Um, Stetson makes an open road that's a really cool hat to get. There's other makers that are making these now. Um, they just, I think, normally when they make these, they make them, you know, that stock size because that's just what sells. So sometimes it's harder to find one of these. And then, you know, kind of lastly is your budget. So if you know you're going to have the hat for a long time, you really like the color, you really like the build, then you can go up in value. So this hat is the most expensive one here on the table. This has seen a lot of miles. This is a 20X. This was around 500 bucks and it probably would be maybe more now depending. You'll see a little bit different things on here, some style choices that I made. Um, this has a ribbon on the outside edge. This one also has a ribbon. If you're gonna have a hat for a long time, that's a style choice you make, but it does protect that edge over time. It's kind of a, a, a nice look as well, but that is something to consider. So yeah, this is a 20X. It certainly has, has you know gotten some age, but it is a tough, tough hat. If I just put this on the table, it's pretty loud. I mean, it is hard. And that's something that you get. The higher X value you get, the tougher your hat will be in theory, the stiffer your hat will be. That's not necessarily 
100% the truth. Um, some are stiffer, but just know if you're gonna have the hat for a long time, it might be worth investing a little more. But if you're just starting, just think about the color. You know, think about the size of the hat that you want to get, and then your price point. And honestly, what you're gonna do with it will kind of round you out and maybe get you to the good spot. So these are just a few felts that I have, ones that I like, and hopefully this helps you decide which type of felt you want. So if you like this video or want to see more videos just like this, please like and subscribe to the Startup Kelbo channel.